Hello, my philosophers, and welcome now to Wednesday. Well, sunny, nesting, and resting for the next two and a half days. As we were sleeping, the moon transitioned into Pisces. What that does is put emotional focus on your potting soil. That's the analogy I use at Soul Garden. It's the way you plant yourself into the earth, basically. And you do it like a Pisces. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't plant yourself, right? <laughs> kind of contradictory. Either way, you still got to recharge your batteries. And so for the next two and a half days, you're going to be both sensitive in your home environment, but you should take advantage of that sensitivity. This is a great time to garden, put your heart into a little project around the house to finally finish painting that fence. This is a great day to invest in your stability and foundation and family, even if it means cleaning the house or doing that nasty tile work in the bathroom. But the sun in Taurus today, moving ahead in the chapter two of Sun Taurus. So it's time to start thinking about the new life you want to create. And you probably can do that while you're cleaning the bathroom, right? And on top of that, watch the astro weather, but Venus is replacing the sun's position. It's like a handoff going on with the soul pyramid. That means we shift from awareness now into creation. Venus is the tuning planet of creativity, of compassion, okay? And it's also romantic as well. So part of your lifestyle is having romance in it. You're going to be very attractive right now, Sagittarius, just so you know. But I think the best use of this energy is to step forward with the life you want to create and realize that Venus' compassion side means that you can do a lot of healing. The sun transit in the sixth house also deals with your relationship to your body. You can't have a great lifestyle if you don't have a great life within your body. So for those of you who are facing issues of injury or dis-ease, realize Venus stepping into this for you means you have a lot of compassion for yourself. And compassion is the key vibration to healing. So the more you love yourself, the faster that situation will heal. You'll also find that the more you love yourself and the more you let love and compassion kind of flow over the borders in your lifestyle, the more flexible you'll be to actually do and create the lifestyle that you want. So I'm recommending to all Sagittarius to start creating the new life you want and also express all that compassion and have it on your fingertips because it's going to make you lucky. You're already fiery and wonderful as it is. All right, Sag, that's all I have for Wednesday. I'll see you tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So